Hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your December 2017 uh, year wrap up, as well as a little bit of a, a snippet for you to bring into 2018. Okay, so the way that I'm doing these readings is I'm going to give you energies coming through for the next two weeks to round out December 2017. And then we'll talk about, you know, one of the major lessons we can extract from 2017 to bring us into 2018 to facilitate the transition between the two years. So first of all, um, I'm seeing some major, major re-examination when it comes to um, who we're giving our energies to, who we are consciously choosing to be around, who we are keeping in our company, and who we are, you know, trying to build relationships with. And this is not just love relationships. I feel like this is professional. This is group acquaint um, associations, acquaintances, and people that you are making conscious decisions to be around. So I feel like you guys are starting the beginning of the year. Um, 2017, the beginning of the year, uh, with a lot of social outing, with a lot of um, opportunities for going out, having fun, and the interaction between you and other people, it tends to be emotional, but also um, it, it, it's not, it wasn't conducive to long-term stability. So it, it was kind of like, you know, go, meeting people that are really, really fun, but at the end of the day, you might not be able to share these uh, really deep conversations with them. You might not be able to have that sense of camaraderie with them, have that sense of um, emotional connectedness with them. And that's what you really need. And so the, the first half of the year, I feel like you were, you know, spending your time going out, having fun, networking, trying to uh, be go places where you can be seen and heard. And then the second half of this year, it's all about cocooning yourself with the right people, um, downsizing the small group of friends that you have, downsizing to a smaller group, as well as nurturing and really, really figuring out, you know, what matters to you. And I feel like you're at a point where you're not giving so much of yourself. You're thinking about more like, okay, what am I contributing versus what other people are contributing? So there's a sense of balance. There's a sense of wanting to do things in a more methodical manner. And this can be um, good or bad if we are constantly keeping scores then you know you you want to be careful about that and if your partner is constantly keeping scores as well who's contributing what you know uh let's go dutch or go home i feel like it can r interfere with the romance in the relationship and likewise if this you know tit for tat this score keeping energy is also brought into friendship uh, relationships as well it can create pettiness, it can create imbalances. So you wanna be, you know, you, you wanna err on the side of caution, but you don't also want to be too extreme when it comes to keeping scores, okay, keeping the tabs. So I feel like you're coming into the end of this, uh, the next two, the, the December 2017, but also the next two weeks with a greater understanding of what you need to be or you need to have or how you need to behave or what you need from the other partner in terms of good relationships, good friendships. You're starting to realize that the sentimental relationships don't really matter as much. They're kind of like they're, they're, they're a little bit too heavy, they're a little bit too much and so you're looking for somebody that is willing to build with you. There's a sense here about family really holding you back, family being a crutch. It can be a safety net, but I feel like from your end, you might have thought it was a safety net, but it's actually becoming a crutch for you, holding you back, preventing you from living your life. And also, there were a lot of burdens and obligations kind of from coming from family members. And I feel like they, they came in in the past where the family members could not take care of themselves. So this is like far away, distant past. And then coming into this year, 2017, those family members are self-sufficient. They do not need your help anymore. Um, but it feels to me like you're still enabling the behavior. 
And so, you know, kind of like sever that umbilical cord, but also learning to detach yourself from other people so that you can see them, you know, as they are today. They're self-sufficient. They're no longer helpless and in need of assistance all the time. So you have to look at a situation realistically and look at, you know, do they really need me right now? Or am I just wanting to feel needed and wanted and appreciated? So I feel like really re-examining your own motives for doing things. I feel like that's a, a major, major uh, eye-opener for the next two weeks. Why do I do these things? Why do I, you know, enable this person? Why do I get myself into these patterns? And I feel like a lot of it is you want to help. And I don't feel that the other person is reaching out for help. And then when you want to help and the result doesn't come out the way that you want, I feel like you kind of want something in return from the other party and they never asked for it to begin with. So it gets to the point where one person feel like, oh, but I didn't ask for it. And the other person is like, but I did it because I care. And so learning to be a little bit more, I want to say conscientious about the decisions that we make learning to, you know, kind of like loosen the reins a little bit and let other people take charge, let other people take care of themselves, let other people kind of live their life, okay? Um, the lesson, the major theme I feel like we can extract from 2017, moving into um, 2018, let me just talk about the cards. We have here the Three of Cups as well as the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Cups is a very jovial, um, you know, it's a very inclusive, celebratory, jovial type of an interaction where someone, you know, the, the interaction is, is I, I feel like in a way it can be very superficial. Where it's like, what do you do for a living? You know, oh, I work here, I do this. And it's like the conversation, the nature of the conversation is very, very... Um, so like on the surface, it has the potential to develop and into more. But I feel that, you know, right off the bat, there's already so many people involved. There's so many conflicting opinions. There are so many different ideologies that it's really, really hard to form anything more versus the three of pentacles where people are all working towards a common purpose. People are all trying to find, um, a common ground and they're all in the spirit of compromise so I feel like you know the juxtaposition between these two cards basically indicate to me that you know um, blood is not thicker than water so water basically indicates like some type of a, a lineage you know coming from the same family circle coming from the same clan coming from the same tribe and feeling like we have family loyalty that we must stick together we must uh, support each other through good times and bad times. We must support the other person even if they make bad decisions. And versus the three of coins where you might be a missed, you know, strangers, but you're all ideologically very similar and you're all working towards the common goal. So I feel like the lesson for 2017 here is try to go out and find your tribe. Okay, it's not limited to lineage, it's not limited to family members, it's not limited to people from the same gene pool. And finding your tribe basically means finding people who are similar to you. And we don't all have to hail from the same environment. We don't have to be culturally, linguistically, ethnically the same. We can still use our common sense of humanity to transcend across racial, cultural, linguistic barriers. So I feel like you definitely need to branch out, broaden your scope, broaden your field, and interact with a lot more people. And I feel like through interaction with people who are very different from you, people who are especially not the types that you're used to in the past, you're gonna find commonalities and you're gonna be very, very happy that you're meeting people who are like-minded, okay? And then for, for those of you who are just like, uh, you find yourself kind of like the odd man out in your family grouping, in your family dynamics, I feel like it is really, really time to start branching out and to find people outside of your tribe that can think and behave and have similar 
life experience as 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 you and that you both can you know like you all can get together and do something and contribute to you know society okay so 2018 is going to be a uh, rubbing elbows with the rich and famous rubbing elbows with really really world-renowned people so i feel that you have a lot going on for you guys okay so uh, let go of old relationships and try to move on. You have better things on the horizon. All right. So Pisces, take care of yourself. You're going to really enjoy 2018. Bye bye.